Hello everybody. If you have a Devilbus Air Power XL pressure washer with this style of pump, there's a good chance that your pump has failed or will fail. Two ways to get your pressure washer running again. One is to just completely replace the pump. This style pump is no longer available, but I will show you later on in this video what pump you could actually use. This happens to be a vertical shaft down application. Let's call this end of the pump the drive end. So the engine crankshaft comes through here. And let's call this and the opposite drive end. It has two bearings which are prone to failure. One right here, and you can see mine is completely missing. The ball bearing is completely disintegrated. The balls fell out. The cage failed. And the inner race of the bearing completely fell out. There is another bearing that you can't see right under this piece here and it's mounted in a block and that block replacement with the bearing is still available. This happens to be a standard 203 ball bearing. The biggest challenge in replacing that bearing is getting these eight bolts apart. These are T40 Torx and they are a pain to get out. You're going to need an impact wrench would be my recommendation and you need a very strong T40 bit, an impact rated bit, but that's one solution just to replace the bearings. Uh, chances are when this failed, your engine is probably still in good shape. Uh, in my case, it is. Flywheel key is not even damaged. So when this thing seized up, this thing completely locked up because of that bearing. Uh, it completely locked up. The engine shut down. I thought the flywheel pin was going to pin or keyway was going to be sheared, but it's in good shape. So the engine starts and runs. So the engine's good. I'm just going to replace the pump. So. If you're not too handy and or you have trouble getting these Torx screws out, you can actually replace the pump. And let me show you which pump will work. Well, I've decided not to replace the pump. I actually didn't film much video because I wasn't certain my repair was going to work, but it did. All I did was replace that 203 bearing. And then uh, rather than replace it with these Torx bolts, I've gone in and replaced it with some grade 8 5 16 18 2 inch long bolts. I think the original bolts here are like 2 and a 16th or 2 and an eighth, but 2 inch bolts work just fine. Uh, I went with a grade 8 so I could really put some torque on these and get this thing clamped down so it doesn't leak. And it works perfectly. So I got $5 bearing and then 8 bolts to eliminate these uh, nasty Torx bolts. Like I said, if you have an impact wrench and you have a impact Bit, you're probably going to be able to get them off, but I have fired this up. There are no leaks. The pump works perfectly. So continue watching if you decide you want to replace the pump. Uh, I did all the research on it, and that information is right after this segment. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful or informative, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel. This particular pump on Amazon should work just great. There are many different versions of it. There's a cast aluminum or an aluminum pump. There's a bronze version. There is easy start version. All you need to do is pay attention to making sure that you get what is known as the right hand pump. And here's a description of the right hand pump, but this will fit very nicely. In fact, on the Amazon site under customer reviews, there's a guy who did a really nice write-up where he completely replaced the pump on an XL pressure washer, which happened to have a Honda engine. But he goes through all the steps, tells you what new key you need to buy and what new bolts you need to get. And here is a picture that he posted showing his original pump and then the Amazon pump that he used. So check that out. Two ways to get yourself back up and running if your engine's good. Repair the damaged bearings. It could be one or both, or completely replace the pump. Today on Amazon, this pump is around $110. You can get much less expensive versions. I happen to like this brand, but there are many other much less expensive, very similar pumps that you could use. So if you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.